In this lesson, we'll continue our review of PSAT Math Test 2, Section 3, No Calculator Questions 15 and 17. And you may be asking, what about 16? Well, in the previous video, let's show you up here, I, I went across, I did 14 and 16, I didn't follow the, the order. And so, in the last video at the end is 14 and 16, if you want to see 16, if you're skipping around. And in this video, I'm going to do 15 and 17. Julian practiced her dance routine for twice as many minutes on Monday as she did on Tuesday. She practiced her routine those two days for a total of two hours and 15 minutes. How many minutes did Julian practice her dance routine on Monday? So it's a common question, system of equations. She practiced her routine twice as many minutes on Monday as she did on Tuesday. So I'm going to use M and T. Remember, Monday is twice as, as many minutes as Tuesday. So Monday equals 2 times Tuesday. And she practiced her t routine total on the both days for 2 hours and 15 minutes. And we're solving this in minutes, so I'm going to convert this to 120. So we know that m plus t both days is 135. And now I can just use substitution. I already have m equals 2t, so I'm going to take this 2t and plug it in. And so I get 2t plus t, I get 3t equals 135. Divide both sides by 3, and t is 45. Just be careful. The question is asking how many on Monday. And so the last step is we can just plug back in here, right, 45. Remember, Monday equals 2 times Tuesday. So the answer is 90. 17. In the expression above, a, b, c, and d are non-zero constants, and a, d equals b, c. If a, c equals 18 and b, d equals 50, what is the value of the coefficient of the x, y term? when the expression is multiplied out and the like terms are collected. And so before I substitute these, these different values, I'm just going to multiply that because that's what the question is asking for. I'm just going to FOIL this out. And so the, the first term I get AC x squared, all right? And then I get minus AD xy. And I'm doing the middle terms. So I get BC xy outer minus b d y squared. All right, and so there's really a shortcut here. I just recognized it. You could, so they're giving us these values here, like a d equals b c, and they give us the value of this is 18. They give us the value of this is 50. But the question is just asking, if it's multiplied out and the like terms are collected or combined, we want to get the value of the x, y. This is not an x, y term. This is an x squared. So we don't have to pay attention. The 18 is not even relevant. This is not an xy, it's a y squared, so it's irrelevant. We're just talking about these two terms. That's the xy term. And we're told that AD equals BC. All right, so they're telling us that these terms, this AD term, equals the BC. And so if they're equal, we've got a minus AD xy plus a BC, XY, if they're both equal, what's left over? Nothing. And that's the answer. So it's really not too difficult if you can just kind of filter through and find out what the question's asking for.